Echo Slayers versus Telemint. And what better way to destroy Telemint than on the Telemint playmat? Black Friday! Black Friday special, baby. Let's. What a beautiful feeling to destroy this garbage deck that, that I play. So does that mean I'm garbage? No, right? I love Telemint. I love Voice and Star Frost. I love this whole engine. But I'm going to love it even more destroying it with Draco Slayers. And before we get into the Draco Slayer content, make sure to also check out Elastrals. Only available for five more days. Guys, it's almost, time is almost up. Elastral is almost gone. If you guys didn't get your lesson started next, I don't know what you guys are doing. The new best brand new TCG card game that combines the best aspects of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon and Magic and Triff Gaming. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. So check out, check it out right now in the description, and now let's get straight into the video. Tier Limit stands no chance. We're playing the best deck Draco Slayer, so this duel is basically over, obviously. Here we do have a Talents, Talents... It's not bad, but we for, uh, you have to assume your opponent's playing Bisted. So here we see a Bisted Hand Trap. I mean, think of all the stuff Telemans can do on the opponent's turn playing on both turns. So Talents has an insane value. But in a deck like like Pendulums, you're going to need to kind of bait them into using their Bisted cards. So here we're going... Oh, man, this is insane. And what a beautiful setup from uh, my Dueling Book background. Shout out to MSCTV who did that for me. That's amazing. So here we're going to go Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum is going to go into game. It's going to search Odd Ice Seer. Oh my god, but Fumpa, oh. <laughs> this card's amazing, man. I love this card. You guys are going to see how good Odyssey is in this deck. There's... I got something in my eyes. I think it's the Telemann player's tears. Ha! Let's go! This, this had no chance, bro. Here we're going to go into Ignister. Ignister is going to bring a Luster. This is going to go to Magister. Magister, get, get the fact that Enpace and Special. We're going to go into Sky Iris here to get Arc Pendulum. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Debating here. We'll obviously, want Revolution Dragon first before you get the Arc Pendulum. That play is insane. That that play was absurd. So now because of Maiden always searching Sky Iris and Beyond Pendulum searching Odd Ice here, you're always resolving this Odd Ice here combo every single turn, which is beautiful. This triggers Arc Pendulum. This will get us a free Vortex. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was so insane. So he's going to special this up. We have Revolution Dragon at any moment. That's Apollosa. This is Ignister. Ign oh my god, Ignister. And that, so shuffle that back to trigger the Ignis to bring that out. Revolution Dragon. That'll bring another Ignister. Oh my god, this is insane. Dweller, Hope Harbinger, Bambuku. And if, every hand, if any hand trap was activated at any moment, Bambuku. Talents. Talents, baby. And friendly reminder to check out www.tripgaming.com to not only get the best playmats in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, you have to get some Pendulum playmats in conjunction with your Pendulum deck, but to also check out the spreadsheet to learn how to do play with Draco Slayers. Check it out. It's only limited time. We'll continue with the video. Ending on a board here of Apollosa, Hope Harbinger, Dweller, Vortex. And he had to go out of his way there even to shovel back his own Fenrir just to make space for Dweller. And he needs a Dweller out here because against Tier Limit, this protector with all these negates, it's GG, bro. <laughs> the duel's over. So here at the end phase, Yampi is going to go for Druid Worm. So Druid Worm will be resolving instantly Dweller. Gonna go for Harold that gets hit with Apo. I mean, obviously, that's just that's just a game, obviously. And he can't even attack into anything. Look at this. Now look at this setup. Look at this. So obviously, Yampi's gonna go first here. You sign into D shift against this deck. Bro, like, like this is insane. This is amazing. Instantly gonna go normal rhino, chain shifter. GG. What talents? That was a good, that was a great talents there because now obviously Fenrir is gone. Huge play. Great play there. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ah, missing mine. Ja, 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 ja. So what, uh, boom, and that's game. Y'all see that? It's that easy. So instantly, like, you're gonna side that shifter and missing mine. Now this is a huge thing about mine. There's no answer that Yampi will have, at least for like five turns, it's a hard draw. At any moment, the pendulum player Jib here, he's not under shifter, you can go revolution dragon, so dragon, go summon, 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 and then whenever he's ready to pen, uh, pen summon or get uh, to use monster effects, he just drops Mystic Mind on top of this. So, Mystic Mind and Shifter, Fenrir, cards like this is a huge power that Draco Slayer and all pendulums have. We have the capability of playing these absolutely broken cards, and in conjunction, like Shifter and Mind together, this is just game. So, I'm going to show you guys one more replay now. So, this is going to be Jibriel versus the top G. I guess Andrew Tate came to Dueling Book. So let's see what's going to happen here in this absolute showdown. It is going to be, as I mentioned, Tier Limit versus Pen. Fenrir. Fenrir is too good. Fenrir gets hit with the Havness. Now this could spell trouble. The reason why this could spell trouble is Jib has double Fenrir in his hand. And he just hit Rhino Heart as well as a Keldo. 
So this Keldo will be able to stop when Revolution Dragon targets an Ignister. This is a downside. Yes, Ignister is a fire and it does skip Bistids. However, the Ashizus in the grave can hit it. So now when Rhino sends one of these, yeah, this, this could actually spell trouble. This could spell multiple interruptions for Mr. Top G. And uh, Jib is in trouble here. But let's see how Pendulums react to this scenario. So he's going to be sending the Sheeran as well as Havnis and, Kala and, and uh, Kit triggering. Great play here from Fenrir to banish the Kit. That way, uh, Rukalos cannot come out. That's going to summon out. Now, this is going to go bring out Kalado. So, all in all, this is actually amazing for us. Because he just wasted two cards in his hand. He wasted two cards in his hand. All to get rid of one Fenrir. You could just special back this Fenrir, no problem. Uh, because it's not like once per turn. You can summon as much as you want. But their effects are once per turn. Not the summon. Because the summon is just uh, summoned itself. So, here is going to discard that for us. Sky Iris gets Ignister out. Ignister popped to shuffle, triggering the Ignis because it got popped to special a dynamite. Now, the dynamite and the Ignis are going to be on the pendulum. Oh, classic pen fashion. You could send Keldo, you could send whatever the on God's Green Earth you want. This Keldo, just look out for it. This Ignister cannot be special back now. You need to remember this. It will tr uh, hurt the plays a little bit. I'm surprised he did not have special the Astrograph to Ignis getting popped because that would have resulted in more advantage and more pendulum summoning. So I'm surprised that that didn't go through. Maybe he's saving the Astrograph for later. Didn't even use it again. I'm actually surprised that he's not opting to use the Astrograph. So maybe he wants to do it at, at, a little bit later. He's going to do it now. He still didn't decide to do it. So I, I probably would have Astrograph already. Oh, maybe he wants to re-add a Revolution Dragon. Oh, this is a mistake. Because well, the second you use Revolution Dragon on uh, Ignister, is going to get negated. So I uh, no, well, Vortex is there. So the second you use the Keldo, he's going to negate it with Vortex. That's a great play. Whenever you're about to use your Graveyard, set up a negate first. So once the negate is set up, you're good to go. Ignister, or then that's when he specials Astrograph. That's great, because that allows him to get another Revolution Dragon. This gets Dynamite, adds back the Ignis. So that triggers, get Apollosa out. Ign oh my god, this is... Oh my god, bro. This was through two hand traps, basically. Pen best deck, bro. Pen best deck. This was through two hand traps. Don't forget that. Wow, pen best deck. Through two hand traps. Pen best deck, man. I, I want to see Taylorman do that shit. No way. Dweller, see you later. See you later. Perlerino, no. Oh, Super Poly. Super Poly. Damn. That was a, that was a good one. It's still game. <laughs> pen best deck. You, you can't do anything. It's the pen best deck. Get your beautiful playmats now. Because, yo, check out these Tier Limit playmats. You can get the Tier Limit play. You could play on a Tier Limit playmat. And play it. Yeah, it'll be good. But you could also play Draco Slayers on a Tier Limit playmat. Let your opponent use the Tier Limit playmat as well. And you can destroy them. And that's a bigger flex. So let's see what's going to happen out here. Uh, some good cards go to the graveyard, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Good cards for them as well. Uh, let them let them mill as much as they want. I mean, they're getting clopped up regardless. So he's gonna, we're going to allow him here to trigger, trigger all your stuff. We don't care. We don't care. We're playing the best deck. We don't care. You can say this is a, this is what you guys are going to see. Why why Draco Slayers are so damn good, uh, specifically against this deck. Like look at this. Look, at, you could mill your whole deck. It's irrelevant. It's truly irrelevant. Anything he sends is irrelevant. It really it really is. Like like he just said, got lucky off the Sheeran. It doesn't matter. All right, so you look at this board, right? This board, how, like, this board is cheeks. This board is baby food. Not only do you have Rokalos, Crime, and Solyak, okay? And Kalado. Like, okay? Okay? Huh? So? That shit's easy. Dynamis Charge? Like, like, look. The whole idea of Tier Limit right now is it, it tries to end on Dweller to stop you, Right? Sure, also has the Graveyard Hand Trap. Doesn't matter. Have, doesn't matter. These don't do shit. This is why we're playing this best deck. They try to result, uh, have all these Graveyard Interruptions, but when you play a deck that doesn't care about the Graveyard, it's just over for your opponent. Sure, you want to mill? It doesn't matter. You can mill six. Doesn't matter. You could mill your whole deck. Like, like what's it going to do? Draco Stapalia? Uh, doesn't matter. Collado? We're expect yeah, we're expecting a Collado at some point. The rest, it's irrelevant. What are you going to send? Mud Dragon? Okay. All right. Sure. Talents? I guess it would... I wouldn't have scooped there if I was Jib. I would not have scooped. I would have kept playing. I would have kept playing. Because all you need... So that, that right there, I wouldn't have scooped. I would have kept playing. I would have waited. I would have waited. I, you know he is crime. I would have used talents later. All you have to do is just resolve Maiden. The second Maiden gets resolved, that's so a mistake over there. The second you... All you got to do is get to one Ignister. You don't have to kill them. You don't have to break their board. All you have to do is go Ignister Effect Special Maiden. Maiden, search Mystic Mind. Enter Battle Phase, crash everything. Mystic Mind. Pass for five turns. Kill them. He also has nine cards left in his deck. So that was the correct play there. But that's fine. That's okay. We're just going to win this next game three. So we're going to go Bambuku. Bambuku. What a cute card, Bambuku. I love this card. Amazing. 
Uh, Fex here, going to get a bunch of value off the Draco Slayers. I mean, this spells defeat for Mr. Top G over here. His hand. Scareclaw Reichardt! I love Scareclaws! Maybe there's a chance he's playing Scareclaw. Scareclaw, maybe he's playing Vice of Starfrost, just like the play mats you guys are about to purchase on TripGaming.com. Dude, Vice of Starfrost is insane. I love Scareclaws. I truly, like, I love Scareclaws. Vice of Starfrost is one of my favorite cards in the game. That's not a pendulum. Here, we're going to get great value. Revolut oh my god, I love this combo, man. I, I love this combo. Seer offers so much for this deck. It's actually insane. Uh, especially because you don't need to open it. Look, you don't need to You just search them. Mid-combo, you search them. Trigger... Oh. A free Vortex Dragon. That is that is so beautiful. That is truly insane. This is free. This is free. Thank you. Free. Total... What's this deck doing? Uh, activate Dweller. Even with... Like, even with, with... Evenly. It doesn't matter. You're not playing whatsoever. You're not playing whatsoever. Even... Sure. Negate. Sure. <laughs> Pen best deck, bro. This, this shit's insane. Oh, I would have... Probably hold Parbinger that, but that's like, I mean, uh, he also doesn't really care what's gonna go down here. Normal summon, sure, no problem. GG. Pen best deck. That's it. This is the deck list for those that missed the common tutorial and deck list over here. I discussed everything in depth in the, that video, so you guys can go check that out. The idea of the deck is simple. Odd Eye Seer and Odd Revolution Dragon and Joker is just absurd, um, ama absurdly amazing together. And the fact that you can search with Maiden, the Sky Iris mid combo, to search what you're missing out of these 11, use Beyond the Pendulum to search the other. And you get Vortex searchable, searched every single the game. Absolutely insane. With broken cards like Sphere and Shifter and, Ta and Dark Lord Lightning Storm post side. It's so difficult to lose. Pen best deck. That's You already know what it is. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out TripGaming.com where you can get the spreadsheet of this deck to learn how to play it better. Also, for a limited time, Black Friday special. Ensure to get your very beautiful Tealament Ishizu playmat so you can destroy it with this deck. And check out Elestrals while you guys can. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game. Available now on Kickstarter.